Go inside your new feature branch, confirm that you see your change, then click on create pull request. Give your pull request a name, confirm your changes and commits, then click on the create button. Consider this. You have an AWS code commit repository, and now you want to create approval rules for all your pull requests. Can you do this in a few steps using the AWS console? Let's find out. Let's start by navigating to the code commit service, then click on create repository and give it a name. Hit create, then confirm that you see your Git clone instructions under step three. Next, let's head to the Cloud9 service, click on create environment and give it a name. I'm going to leave all the other settings to their default values, hit create, then click on open Cloud9 IDE. Navigate to the bash terminal, then copy paste the git clone command from step three. Use the cd or change directory command to go inside your repo. Here, I'm going to create a text file and call it readme.txt and save it in the current directory. Use the ls or the list command to confirm that you see your readme.txt file, then run the git add command to add this file to our commit index. Next, let's commit this file by running the git commit command with the hyphen m option to specify a commit message. Finally, let's run the git push command to push this change to our master branch. Looks like everything worked as expected. Let's confirm this by going back to the code commit window, then go inside your test repository. Next, let's create an approval rule by clicking on approval rule templates in the left menu, then hit create. Give your rule a name, then enter the number of approvals needed. I'm going to leave this number to one, then click on add under the approval pool members section. I already have an IAM user called James that I'm going to specify here, then specify our test repo as the associated repository. Hit create, confirm that you see a new approval rule template, then go back inside your test repo. Next, we'll create a pull request. Note, right now I'm logged in as Abi, so any pull request I create will come under my name, which will have to be approved by James. Let's head back to the Cloud9 window and create a new branch called new feature using the git branch command. Use the git checkout command to switch from the master to the new feature branch. Next, I'm going to add a new line to my readme.txt file, then add it to my commit index using the git add command. Now I'm going to commit this file and push it to the new feature branch. Let's head back to the code commit window and click on branches in the left menu to confirm that we see both of our master and the new feature branch. Go inside your new feature branch, confirm that you see your change, then click on create pull request. Give your pull request a name, confirm your changes and commits, then click on the create button. If I head to the approvals tab, you will notice that I don't have any approvals to merge my pull request yet. Next, I'm going to log in as James in a separate browser, head to the code commit service, then go inside my test repo. If I click on pull requests in the left menu, I should see a new pull request from Abi in open status. Let's go inside it then head to the changes tab to review our changes. I'm going to add a comment, hit save, then click on the approve button. Next, I'm going to go back to my original browser where I'm logged in as myself, then hit refresh to confirm that I see an approval from James in my approvals tab. You'll also note that now I have the option to merge my pull request to the master branch. 
Select a merge strategy. Confirm whether you want to delete your source branch after merging or not. Then click on merge pull request. Click on branches in the left menu and confirm that you only see your master branch there now. If you go inside your master branch, you will see that your new feature changes were successfully merged in the readme.txt file. There you have it. But before you go, here's a question for you. Why did the developer bring a GPS to their AWS code commit meeting?